Kaohsiung is the second largest city in, in uh, Taiwan. We are in the southwestern tip of the island. Uh, we're a, one of the larger container ports in the world. And we are now just springboarding into internationalism. So we, we see a great need for uh, an American school to grow here, actually. Kaohsiung is a beautiful city. Uh, it's, it's an ocean city. It's um, uh, a relaxed culture here. We, we are not high stress. We are very close to the mountains, so you can be out of the city in half hour, 45 minutes. Um, if you like riding a scooter, it's a great city for scooters. It's a, it's a well laid out city, I think. It's, it's fairly easy to navigate. Uh, we have lots of islands right nearby, so you can take the ferry out onto islands in five or 10 minutes. And the beauty, the uh, sunsets are gorgeous. We have great temples, many, many temples, many temples, and they're wonderful to visit. What's nice about a city of almost two million people is our traffic continues to flow. You, you don't get caught in traffic jams. And once you learn the culture of the traffic, it's very easy to navigate. It's an exciting city, and primarily because we have so many markets. We have wet markets, night markets, day markets, weekend markets. And they stay open until three, four o'clock in the morning. And what's nice for me personally is you can go to the markets and, and see unusual things, taste unusual foods. Um, people are very friendly, but once again, you're always feeling safe. Well, on any given weekend, you can find me in the mountains, the beach, cycling, you know, traveling around the island. The transportation here is extremely convenient, so definitely trying new foods. I've probably tried more new foods since I've lived here than I have in my entire life, things that I would have never thought I would have eaten. Kaohsiung is a super cool city. It's a really safe city. It's really... Um, it's really changing right now because uh, there's a big effort towards becoming more green, uh, building lots of park area in space. Some of my favorite parts of the city are the art parks. There's a really interesting area called Pier 2, uh, which is a, um, a kind of funky little art artist's area. It's the old warehouses that have been transformed into an art park. It's cool in that there's so much variety. You can go to the beach one day and just hang out in the beach, and then that afternoon be in the city, uh, surrounded by skyscrapers. There's a, a teacher who's leaving Taiwan, and she's very sad to go, and she said that this is really like the closest that she has ever found to a sort of utopia in terms of the way that the society functions. Taiwanese people are super nice. I love it. Uh, Taiwan's really a great place. It's kind of like a, a hidden gem. It's been a big surprise for me. I, I love it here. The people here or the culture we have in Taiwan, which is very unique. People here are incredible friendly, even they don't speak English. But they will try their best to support you. Kaohsiung is just the best place for me because it has a little city side and also a lot of countryside part of it. Um, Weather's been good, and I think people's been so great. I, I love this place. But we're a very different culture from, from the Western world. So with our new teachers, we find it very important to make this transition to, to, to Taiwan, to Kaohsiung, a smooth transition. The very first day they're here, we will take them on a city tour, and so they get a chance to experience some of the restaurants in Kaohsiung, we take them up to, to the uh, Monkey Mountain. We will show them some temples, but we'll show them the highlights of our city. And, and it gives them a chance to begin to bond as a group. Then the second day, we take them up into the mountains. And so they have an opportunity to, to experience the culture of Taiwan, the meet the Aborigines, uh, make beads in a jewelry shop. And it's really a chance to see that we have a beautiful, beautiful island um, in the mountains and in the city. Then they get to come to probably the happiest school in the world. <laughs>